Hi there. In this video, I'm going to be talking about serial correlation, but how serial correlation can actually be symptomatic of omitted variable bias, or the fact I just have an omitted variable, which is important in determining my dependent variable, which I haven't included in my model. So let's think about an example of this. So let's say I was interested in modeling a farmer's income over time. So my two axes here being the farmer's income and the horizontal one being time. So let's say farmer's income did something like this. So there is some sort of pattern in it, some sort of troughs and some sort of peaks. And let's say I estimated a model and that model was sort of fitting the data okay, but it wasn't doing a great job of picking up why these troughs and peaks were occurring. And because of that, I'm getting sort of runs of positive errors where I'm sort of under predicting and then runs of negative errors where I am over predicting. Yeah, so this is evidence of the fact that we have serial correlation or this actually shows that we have serial correlation in our model. So what could be causing this? Well, one of the important things, if you're thinking about farmer's income in, let's say, a country like Thailand, or a rice farmer in Thailand, is that their yield of the crops actually depends a lot on the rain. The more the rain there is, um, the better the yield. So perhaps in our model, we hadn't included a really important variable, which was the amount of rain. And let's say the amount of rain, which this sort of farmer's location in Thailand experienced was something like this. Well, it's not hard to see that if I had included this in our model, perhaps it would have been the case that my sort of model forecasts of what the farmer's income would be would track a lot better, wouldn't exactly track what the farmer's income is, but it would track a lot better and or a lot closer to the actual true farmer's income. Yeah, so this is an example whereby I've misspecified my model. I've left out an important variable, which is in this case rain. And by leaving out that important variable, that has led me to have serial correlation in my errors. But it's also symptomatic of the fact that I'm probably going to have omitted variable bias. Let's think about another example of serial correlation um, coming up, which is, let's say I was trying to model the sales of a, let's say, a given product over time. So again, I see that there is some sort of pattern in sales over time. And perhaps I estimate a model which says, well, sales is equal to some sort of function of um, seasonality. So Perhaps I've sort of included measures of the weather in this occasion. Um, it also depends on the amount of advertising which the firm undertakes. And perhaps it, may un it sort of depends on a whole host of other factors. But perhaps I don't have access to a really important factor, which is the price of a variable. So perhaps when I estimate my model, it captures some of these sort of peaks and troughs. But importantly, again, I have runs of positive errors and runs of negative errors, indicating that my model isn't exactly capturing what is going on. Well, in this case, it might be the case that I've omitted price. So perhaps price is doing something like that, which whenever the price is lowest, that causes sales to be highest. And whenever the price is highest, sales tend to be lowest. So perhaps if I'd included this important variable in my model, it would have been the case that my model prediction would have tracked much closer to my actual predictions. And I wouldn't have got this issue of serial correlation. But note, in both of these occasions, it actually hasn't been indicative of there being true serial correlation. Serial correlation has been symptomatic of a more serious problem which is that of an omitted variable, which I should have been included in my model. So in that way, serial correlation can be thought of as a sort of way of detecting whether it, there is some other variable which I need to be including in my model. 